Hello, hello, welcome to my Gambian kitchen. Today I am going to make one of the most mild watering street foods from Gambia called Ebe. Basically, Ebe is a palm oil cassava seafood soup. It really reminds me of my childhood in Banjo. Um, I just love Ebe growing up in Banjo. So please, let's get to cooking this ebe. One of the main ingredients uh, of this ebe is the cassava, yucca roots. I'm using the frozen ones today. These are all cleaned. I have five pounds here. And I am going to cut them into bite-sized pieces later. I have all my seafoods here, looking so beautiful. And I have my catfish egg, which is the neningunja, the shrimps, pine or boso in uh, mandinka. That's the small clams. I have my kong, the catfish and crab, which I'm gonna open later on and clean. I have my additional ingredients, the tamarind concentrate, uh, the seeded tamarind, um, and I have some lemons, my habanero peppers, and I have my carne sauce too, and I have the tamarind powder, which I so much love. And now, let's get started. have my water already on the stove and I'm gonna go ahead and add my cassava that I just cut into bite-sized pieces um, and I'm gonna add salt to it and I'll also add my kong I want the kong to cook for at least 10 minutes when the kong is completely done I'll go ahead and take it out but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the head of the Kong in the pot. I'm also going to take some of the cassava out, just uh, a little, not too much, and set it aside. I'm gonna use that as a thickening agent um, this step right here is really optional, especially if you have really good cassava. I like to add my palm oil in the very beginning. And for me, I don't like to taste the palm oil, the raw palm oil in the ebe. So it's very important you have your palm oil cooked really good. And I'm going ahead and add uh, my jimbo here, some lemon juice, and I'll just let it cook. If you need salt, this is a good point to add salt. And I'll also occasionally stir it just to avoid the cassava from sticking to the bottom of the pot. Now I am going to open my crab and clean it. And I'm gonna cut them into pieces so that everybody can get a piece or two. Look at this plate looking so beautiful. Oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> Now that I added all my seafood to the pot and have my heat on low, I'm gonna go ahead and make the condiment, the dahar, the spicy sour tamarind mixture. I have the concentrated one and the powdered one and the seeded one all mixed up with some lemon juice. 
and I added some of my carne sauce and jimbo. I'm gonna go ahead and mix them all together. This is the condiment you put on top of the ebe when it's done. It's just so delicious. This is basically to me like the icing on top of the cake. The cake is the, um, the ebe and the icing is this dahar, if you know what I mean. If you love ebe, I believe you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> The ebe is now done. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a bowl. I really don't like my ebe too thick because if you make it thick on the onset, then it's gonna be thicker as time goes on when it's cooler. So um, I just can't wait to dig into this ebe. Um, I added my condiment on the side with some lemon and i hope you like this video i thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video watch the other videos comment uh, share and subscribe to this channel and thank you so much once again and you have an amazing day